This video is a continuation on the chapter of rings. We keep giving some examples. And now this the example is sorry. Uh, another example. Example one. Here we have the z in x of meaning all polynomials in the variable x with integer coefficients okay like 2x plus 1 for instance okay so the variable is x and the coefficient are integers under ordinary addition normal addition and normal multiplication this is a commutative ring so it means that the um, uh, the polynomials under multiplication is commutative okay so it's a commutative ring with unity one okay so this is the 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 identity or the unity okay this fx equals one the identity for the this operation okay another example the set of matrices of order two by two we entries in the integers under addition matrix addition okay and matrix products okay so it means that in a a matrix the entries will be integers okay this is also a ring but is a non-commutative ring because as you know that you know that AB is not always equal to BA it's very easy to find examples where you have matrix A matrix B you multiply them and they are different from BA so it's a ring but it's not a commutative ring okay and it has a, a unity, an identity, and the identity is uh, the unity is the matrix one zero zero one, right? Now the the set of uh, even numbers under addition, usual addition and multiplication. Um, this is a ring too and it is a commutative ring so this operation is commutative right uh, but there is no unity here okay you can see that this operation has no unity okay okay now we are going to pick functions uh, now we are going to use real valued functions of a real variable okay so functions of a real variable whose graphs path pass through the point one zero so this is the point one zero right okay so functions like this or like that or like that so real valued functions continuous continuous real valued functions that pass through the point one zero we are going to see that the set of these uh, functions this set 
going to call it s under addition of uh, functions addition and multiplication this is a ring without any unity there is no unity okay so but what are the operations well the operations are addition and multiplication okay so f plus g of let us say a f plus g of a will be f of a plus g of a and f g of a will be f of a times g of a okay so the set of full continuous real valued functions of a real variable whose graphs pass through this point is a commutative ring okay but there is no unity under these operations now for the next example example we are going to use rings so let us say we have ring 1 ring 2 ring n all these are rings okay we can use these rings to to build a new ring we do ring 1 direct sum ring 2 direct sum to ring end defined as a1 a2 a n such that a i is in the ring i all this under addition and multiplication uh, component wise meaning if we want to add a1 um, a n plus b1 b n that will be a1 plus b1 a n plus b n okay and the same for multiplication this times b1 bn will be a1 b1 a n b n okay so This ring is called direct sum of R1, Rn. Okay, and this will be the last example. We are going to take a set. The set is with these elements 0, A, B, and C, and we define addition and multiplication by these KD tables. Okay, so you can check that this, this will be a ring, but is non commutative. You can check that through the KD table here. Um, and without any unity. Okay, so this finished this chapter on examples on rings. So now we have a richer structure where we have a set and two operations. And basically what we are going to do now is more or less the same using more or less we are going to use more or less the same concepts we used so far about groups so we have to introduce concepts now like ring homomorphisms ring isomorphisms factor rings etc